Hello, everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome you on another Connection Wednesdays. Uh, today we will present quite interesting topic uh, because since uh, October 2018 uh, when we released the version 9.1 of Idea Statica, uh, we have a new application that we called uh, Code Check Manager and this is what uh, we will focus on today. So today we will show you one very nice example of uh, how to import connection from Tecla structures and merge it uh, with a model from SAP 2000. Uh, before we start, let me introduce our team. Today uh, we are missing Adam, but we have a very good substitute, uh, David Kuchera, who is also a product engineer at Idea Statica, will show you everything about the workflow in the Code Check Manager. And my name is Jana Kaderova, and uh, Together, we will have a look uh, at some help desk highlight topic at the end. One practical thing about go to webinar application, you are all muted by default, but you can ask your questions uh, via questions panel in go to webinar window. So please uh, feel free to ask anything think we will try to answer all questions during the webinar and also we can send you email if we don't have time to answer. So what will you see today? It will be the joint importing from Tecla structures may merged with SAP 2000 model as I mentioned before and also during uh, this example David will present different tips and tricks how to work with the code check manager. In the end, we will have a short look at uh, general cross-section creation uh, because we chose one example from our help desk, uh, one problematic project or a project where the user did not know how to work with it. In the end, we will have uh, maybe a few minutes to answer some questions of you. So this is our introduction. And now let me pass the presenter to David, who is prepared to show you how to work with Code Check Manager. Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure for me to introduce uh, link or the power of the BIM links. We will merge Tecla project. Sorry for, for the bad screen. So once again, we will merge Tecla project. So it means uh, model created completely in Tecla with uh, global analysis model from SEP 2000. And you will see how we can do it very quickly and then we can check connection in Idea Statica. So let's do it. We can switch or I can show you both models in softwares. So here is sub 2000 and another one, the same structure in Tecla 2018 and joints are completely done. It has the final design. There are plates, bolts and welds. We start in uh, sub 2000. In each software, we have our plugin and this plugin helps you to export each connection. In sub 2000, it's hidden in tools. And here is the plugin. We click on it. And you can see that uh, so called Code Check Manager appeared. First of all, we have to select desired 
connection, so it means members and uh, point which represent the connection. Then in Kotcheck Manager with this button, you have possibility to select code. So we have Euro code, American code, Canadian code, and Australian code. And we plan to add uh, Russian SNP next year. So now I want to work with uh, Euro code. Let's click on this button. And you can see that here is some progress and uh, something happened. Idea Statica is able to read data from this third party software. So just now we have a picture of the connection. We have information about cross sections. And just now, if I am satisfied, I can directly export it to Idea Statica. But we can go through some steps and I can show you what you can check with this uh, code check manager. So click on the button next and you can check which uh, load cases were used, which combinations, we have two combinations, combination one and combination two. You can check coefficients and uh, just now I can finish the connection. Oh, sorry, finish the export. So just now Idea Statica is uh, reading the data, automatic data transfer was started. And we can notice that we have our connection design. So cross sections were imported, of course, load effects. We can check that we have two combinations. So this is our first model from sub 2000. At this time, we can close Idea Statica because once it was exported, it is saved. So we can close it. For this time, we can close Code Check Manager in sub 2000 and we can switch to Tecla structures. Tecla structures is also uh, third party software. And here we have plugin called connections. So let's use this button and code check manager appears for this software. You can see that it's the same. So we will select desired code. Just now we are working with Euro code. In Tecla structures, it's a little bit different. First, we select node, which represents uh, the connection. Then we select the members. We have three members, so let's select them and confirm with a space bar. And please keep in mind that the first selected member will be set as bearing one. So in our example, it will be column. And in the last step, we will select uh, everything else. It means plates, bolts, stiffeners, and automatic data transfer was started. It, it's the same as in sub 2000. Idea Statica is reading uh, the data and it's here. We have our connection with operations. It was really very fast. And just now we can, or we have to load our structure. So we can add load effects from exported project from sub 2000. And let's do it or there is a possibility to do it with this button, connection import. So let's click on it. Now we will find 
the way to the connection which was exported from some 2000 so I know that it is in my folder for webinars and uh, it's here so let's open it and automatically our structure is loaded you can see combination one combination two and it's done we have final design of our connection so let's calculate our model just now idea statica was preparing the data for mesh for solver and it's calculating and in a few seconds we will receive the results on the left side we can see the summary of the results and because uh, we merged project from tecla and sub we are done really very quickly and if you want you can go through the check we can check equivalent stress we can display mesh we can display deformed structure or if you are satisfied we can go directly to the report so as you are used to the report is generated if you want you can export it to pdf file or dots file for microsoft office or you can switch to bill of material of course you can print it or you can export all of these pictures to the xf file and you can work with it so our structure was uh, modeled and checked at this time we can save a project and we can close IDA Statica and you can notice what happened in code check manager we have connection this connection is highlighted in Tecla structures and we have the summary of the results we have information about uh, synchronization model was from Tecla and load effects were from sub 2000 and here is the path where it's saved now I will close uh, this code check manager and let's say you want to make some change in your connection and uh, because we won't change it in Tecla let's change something so in this connection I will lengthen this plate now it's 30 millimeter let's do it 100 millimeter and modify and uh, we can add some bolts so let's add another row of the bolts and modify that's it we can confirm and again let's go to the code check manager and now you can very easy synchronize the connection just only with this button synchronize let's do it and we will see what happens again idea statica is transferring the data and in few seconds we will see a synchronized model and you can notice that really the plate was lengthened and we edit uh, one row of the bolts and you don't have to import load effects again because its state and directly we can calculate the structure and we will see if it's okay or not or if we won't 
modify or if we want to add something. After a calculation, we will see the summary of the results. You can see the changes were very small, so the results are uh, quite similar. And we can save the project, close it in IDEA. Maybe you noticed it and immediately the results were changed. I think the bolts were 21 point zero and now there is 21.1 and of course the picture was updated. You can see that uh, there is one more row of the bolts and the plate was exported. So this is the first connection and of course you can work with many connections in this designer. So let's add a new one. I won't this one. So again, the same workflow from sub 2000. I want export load effects. Again, let's launch code check manager in sub 2000. I will choose desired connection. And because I know I want Eurocode, it's the first option. I can directly click on it. You can see the progress, something is happening. And it's here. We have geometry, we have cross sections. Just now we will not go through the all of the items, but we can design or export our connection directly and we will receive geometry, cross-sections, and of course, load effects with our two combinations. You can notice that uh, it's labeled with different name, joint number six. And again, it's saved in the memory or in the memory on your computer where your project is saved so we can close idea statica we can close code check manager from sub and we switch to tecla structures let's export the connection from tecla again the same workflow choose desired code choose uh, Node which represents the connection members and other parts of the structure, blades, bolts, everything what's included in the connection. Idea Statica is working in the background and uh, it's launching our project. And uh, here it is. Just now let's load it with uh, load effects. You can remember it was joint six. Let's apply these forces and it's here. Let's calculate the structure and we will see the result if it's okay or if not. Of course, I tried this example so I know that it will be not okay. It's uh, not satisfactory. We can save it and let's modify it somehow. Let's switch to Tecla. Now you can notice that we have two connections. Each connection is highlighted in our, our 3D model. Now we are working with uh, connection number one, this is this one. It's not okay, so I will modify it. I know that this is rigid connection. Let's do it the same. Now 
I have to delete the last operation. Yes, here it is. Or we can leave it as it was, so I can go. I can go back and we can leave these two connections for these two beams. We can change only connection for column and this member. So this is hunch. Let's apply it for this connection. Okay. And now we can go back to code check manager. And we have connection number two. In the last uh, step, you, see, you can saw that I used synchronize, but now I will use the button modify. There is a smaller, smaller difference between these two buttons, but in generally modify or please use to modify only if you add something to the structure. So you can saw that I completely changed the connection. I added many plates, bolts. So now I will use synchronize. The members are saved in the memory. I have to select only, or I can do the last step. So select uh, bolts, welds, and plates. And I have to close idea, of course. So once again, let's modify this connection. And idea is working and we will receive uh, the new shape of the connection. And you can see it's here, it was modified. Now I can try to calculate the structure and uh, we will see if now it's satisfactory or not. But I guess this is a quite stiff connection, so it could help. And really, now it's okay. So let's save it. And finally, I can show you the changed result for connection number two in our code check manager. So you can notice that uh, results changed, picture changed. Then we have button calculate and uh, calculate all. I will only, disk, of course, delete, so I think it's clear, but calculate and calculate all, it is uh, the same as the function synchronize, but without opening the idea statica. Everything is happening in the background. So if you have connection and you will choose calculate, in the same time, the connection will firstly synchronize and then it will be calculated and you will see the results. And to calculate all, it's the same, but for all of the connections which are included in Code Check Manager. So it's uh, everything from our example for BIM links and I will pass the word back to Jana. Thank you, David. I will take the presenter. Mm. Okay, so I hope it was a very interesting topic for you because based on the number of questions you are writing to us, uh, I hope this tool will give you like uh, more possibilities how to work uh, with uh, several softwares, how to link them in one model and we hope that that will uh, make the work of engineers 
much faster and easier and we will still improve this Coaching Manager. So, and in the end, uh, we will have a short look at one help desk highlight uh, problem or how to call it, uh, because <clears throat> our user wanted to uh, have a beam of such uh, two cross sections or how to call it, of uh, two different profiles that uh, were supposed to be welded together. So he just entered uh, two different members and then he tried to weld them together. But if we have a look what happens in Idea Statica, it's not really what we expect uh, the model to be because those members are very long. Uh, Idea Statica makes the length of the member based on the last operation that you apply on the connection. But as you uh, want to weld these two members together along their length, uh, then the, the length is uh, very, very long and definitely that's not the correct model. So what we uh, should use in such case it's a composite or general cross section so i will just uh, choose one of these members and i will uh, i will change the cross section and if you want to create your own cross section uh, which is composed of different uh, different uh, co uh, cross sections from our library you can uh, under this step, welded composed, use the last option, general steel cross section, and a very new window uh, opens. It's our uh, cross section, general cross section editor, and here you can compose your own cross section. So let's say uh, we will we will choose uh, RHS uh, 250 and 100 cross-section yeah something like this and we will add another one so i can just uh, copy this one and rotate it 90 degrees and now we can use this uh, master and insert point as references so for this uh, part number two, we will choose the master component to be the number one. And now you can use these numbers that marks different uh, points of the cross sections. So the, um, so the master point will be uh, number one of the section one, which is this point, and uh, we will add there uh, point number nine, I guess. Yeah, in such a way. So you can see now we have a composed cross sections. Always there should be no clashes or over overlapping parts or even gaps. And now if we select such cross section, uh, I will maybe ch uh, change the project because I have shifted it a little bit. So these two members behave uh, as uh, one unit, of course. Uh, they are loaded by, uh, by the load effects together. Uh, there are no welds. We just suppose that they, be, uh, they act together so you cannot really check those welds but the model is uh, I think uh, correct at the moment so I hope I have results here and no, they are uh, sorry they are uh, deleted but uh, if we display the results uh, then we will see that the model behaves as one unit Okay, so let's see how it looks like if I display the deformed shape we have cross-section like this so if you want to use the general cross-section we have a, a 
we have a, a FAQ on such topic. You can find it in our resource center. I hope that everyone, everybody knows our resource center. And in FAQ, we have a question how to create and use a custom cross-section. Here is a step-by-step -step workflow. So you can you can easily reach the information here. And I think we have also one tutorial. You can find it uh, under, let's say, Eurocode or American, American Code. And it's uh, the general 3D uh, connection. And in this example, we have also uh, we have also a general cross section that is composed of different parts. So you can also follow these information. Uh, okay, so uh, I have uh, I have uh, maybe three questions. So uh, one is probably uh, on David. Uh, so David, uh, the question is if it's uh, necessary to keep the order of uh, members uh, the the order the same from SEP 2000 and Tecla if we have to keep the order of selecting those members in both softwares? Uh, yes, that's a good question. It was uh, a little bit tricky in the past for those of you who are working with Aira Astutica for a longer time. So you know that it was necessary to change order in tables, in load effects, but now it was uh, improved from version 9.1, it's not necessary, and we have special algorithm. So it doesn't matter if you uh, select one or second beam firstly, Idea Statica uh, will do it automatically. But what is important, you have to use the same geometry. You can saw that I had Tecla project and sub project, and uh, you have to keep this geometry. It means number of members, angles, and so on. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay. So I think it was enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And uh, then, uh, of course, you asked asked on a different softwares than SAP 2000 and Tecla. For example, if we have a link with RFAM and different other software. So uh, I want to show you where to find all our BIM links. You can go on our web page and under the tab BIM, you can see the list of all supported third party softwares that we have a link. Uh, so uh, for each um, for each software, where you will also find a tutorial if you open uh, open the window of this specific software. You, we have sometimes a YouTube video or definitely we have a tutorial in our, again in our resource center connection tutorials and BIM links. Everything is here step by step. Uh, so please uh, feel free to go through the resource center. You will find everything there. And maybe we can also mention that we always support the last two um, latest versions of all the third party softwares. And uh, the last question, maybe I will connect it with this one, is uh, if the link is sometimes like two ways. So maybe we should mention once more that if uh, you can always change anything in Idea Statica, but the moment we are not uh, sending these changes back to, let's say, Tecla. So uh, if you change the bold uh, size in Idea Statica, we are not sending these inform uh, this information back to Tecla structures. Mm, okay, so. The, la the rest of our questions we will uh, will uh, we already answered, or we will uh, send you an email. And 
at the end, let me just ask you for a filling a very short survey after the webinar. Give us some feedback. How did you like the software? Uh, how did you like the webinar or the code check manager? Uh, we are always happy to read your feedback. You will also get the recording of this webinar. It will be on our uh, web page and also on our YouTube channel. You can also find all the past webinars there if you are interested in different other different topics. And if you still don't have the Idea Statica um, uh, software, you can always apply for a trial version, which is uh, for free on our web page. And the next uh, Connection Wednesdays, and this will be the last part in 2018, will be on December the 12th. We can already invite you to join this uh, webinar. Uh, the application form will be on our web page under the webinars, and you can look forward to seeing uh, example from the team from London, so uh, the London team will end up the this autumn series of uh, Connection Wednesdays. And I think that's uh, all that I want to mention, so thank you very much for your time, uh, thank you that you joined our webinars and we are uh, looking forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye. Bye.